distinguished guests, dear students, good morning to you all. It is an honour for me to address you this morning, this audience of young persons, on this critical subject of data protection, online privacy, and responsible digital behaviour. This half day workshop, organised by the Data Protection Office, is in collaboration with the Ministry of Information Technology, Communication and Innovation, shows our collective commitment to addressing effectively these crucial issues. <clears throat> Today, we are joined by strongly, a strong assembly of young persons from the University of Mauritius, from state secondary schools, whose active participation is crucial in engaging this generation in this vital conversation. Because ultimately, it is primordial for you, our youth, to learn about the safeguard of personal information, as well as developing a sound respect for data protection, for data protection respect for privacy rights, and the determination of the Data Protection Office to sensitize as wide an audience as possible on data protection is absolutely praiseworthy. Ladies and gentlemen, as we navigate the complexities of digital age, it becomes increasingly clear that data protection is much more than a mere technical issue. It is a societal imperative the disruptive nature of technology in our daily lives has ordered an era where data breaches, cyber crimes, pose significant threats that can undermine trust in our institutions and systems, resulting in reputational damage of a pervasive nature. <clears throat> in Mauritius, where digital transformation is rapidly advancing, the need for a robust data protection measure is more critical than ever. And your role as a generation of digital citizens is both empowering and crucial. Now, in addition to being a societal imperative, data protection is also an ethical one. As leaders and custodians of information, we must exemplify ethical digital practices. This involves fostering a culture of respect, transparency and accountability within our organization, promoting responsible use of technology and emphasizing the importance of ethical behavior and help alleviate and lessen risks and create a secure digital environment for all. We shouldn't be surprised then that data protection has today become a focused area for regulatory bodies and organizations internationally. The European Union General Data Protection Regulation is often cited as the gold standard, emphasizing transparency and giving individual control over their personal information. This framework has influenced data protection laws worldwide, including our own Data Protection Act in Mauritius, whose clauses aim at an alignment with this international, these international standards. So, the stringent requirements highlight the importance of robust data protection measures in maintaining the integrity and reliability of our digital infrastructure. Ladies and gentlemen, data protection gains even more significance in education. Schools are increasingly relying on digital tools for learning and administration, necessitating stringent data protection measures to safeguard student-related information. This carries an important message for us all. It becomes a vital necessity for us to incorporate data privacy and digital citizenship 
in our school curriculum. So we will need to teach our students to make them aware of the threats, to make them aware of the risks, and to also inculcate in them certain ethical behaviors for them to be responsible and proper digital users. The United Nations functions and trade and development highlights the importance of integrating such digital literacy into education systems, since it will act as a stepping stone towards equipping learners with the skills and capability of navigating the digital world safely and responsibly. Restorations about guardrails, for instance, are set up by teaching students the importance to seek new passwords, of recognizing phishing attempts, and understanding the sometimes severe and deleterious implications of sharing personal information online. All these can significantly enhance the digital state. We have heard so many times of cases where a person's personal photographs start circulating on networks. So how do we avoid such things? It's by ensuring that young people are aware of the need to keep their personal information and data secure, not to share your passwords, even with your closest friends. It should not be done. You need to keep it to yourself. So once privacy is accordingly, sorry, online privacy is accordingly another cornerstone of our digital society. The modern context lends itself to the an exponential growth of internet usage driven by social media, e-commerce, and cloud computing that has brought unprecedented convenience but also significant risks. As professionals and citizens, we must navigate a landscape where personal and corporate information is continuously As I stated earlier, the consequences of inadequate privacy measures are far-reaching, affecting individual security and organizational capability. It is accordingly more than judicious that we come up with measures that protect our online privacy to maintain trust and confidence in our digital world. Here, it is worth pointing out that the International Association of privacy professionals provides valuable resources and training to help professionals effectively manage privacy and data protection responsibly. Their guidelines emphasize the need for comprehensive privacy policies, regular audits, and ongoing education to keep pace with evolving threats. Understanding these principles is vital for you our youth, as you prepare to enter a workforce increasingly reliant on digital tools and platforms. Ladies and gentlemen, dear students, any conversation on data protection cannot sideline the topic of artificial intelligence that has already started a remarkable transformative trust in our world. And as we stand on the cusp of the force industrial revolution, artificial intelligence's ability to process and analyze in real time massive data sets quickly and accurately is unparalleled. For instance, in cybersecurity, a security breach may well be highlighted even before it operates with the consequent damage mitigation measures that it propounds. But again, Ethical implications thrust themselves to the fore. Issues such as bias in AI algorithm, transparency in AI decision making, and potential misuse of AI technology are of paramount concern. We must address these ethical challenges head on, establishing frameworks and guidelines that promote responsible AI use. In Mauritius, embrace embracing AI's potential while safeguarding privacy and security is crucial for sustainable development. 
Our commitment to innovation must balance our responsibility to protect our citizens' data and privacy. Thus, while it is a given that implementing AI in sectors such as healthcare, finance, and education has the potential to drive significant advancements, yet this also requires robust data protection measures to prevent misuse and uphold individual rights. It is therefore incumbent upon us to lead the discourse on ethical AI, advocating for policies that balance innovation with privacy and security. We must champion transparency in AI operations, ensuring that AI-driven decisions are explainable and accountable. Additionally, it is vital to address issues of bias in AI systems, implementing measures to ensure that AI technologies are fair and equitable. International organizations such as the European Union's high-level expert group on artificial intelligence have developed guidelines for trustworthy AI, emphasizing the principle of human agency and oversight, technical robustness and safety, privacy and data governance, transparency, diversity, non-discrimination, and fairness. I believe these principles provide a valuable framework for ethically developing and deploying AI. Our government in Mauritius is taking proactive steps to integrate AI responsibly. Initiatives such as the National Artificial Intelligence Strategy aim to harness AI's benefits while addressing its associated risks. This strategy includes the development of regulatory frameworks, investment in AI research and development, and the promotion of AI literacy among citizens. As we move forward, ladies and gentlemen, it is imperative that we continue to engage in dialogue on, about AI and the ethical implications. Join with insights from diverse stakeholders, including academia, industry, and civil society. By doing so, we can ensure that our approach to AI is innovative and principled, paving the way for a future where AI serves as a force for good. The rest assured, dear students, that the government is fully committed to fortifying data protection and online privacy. Thus, we have introduced and are continually refining our regulatory landscape to address emerging threats and vulnerabilities. Again, as I stated earlier, the integration of data privacy education into school curricula is on the cards. The aim being to equip students with the knowledge and skills to protect their personal information and navigate the digital world responsibly. In addition, the government has established a national cyber security strategy which outlines measures to protect the integrity of our institutions and society. This strategy includes the development of cyber security frameworks, the promotion of public awareness campaigns, and the enhancement of collaboration between public and private sectors. These efforts are integral to building a resilient digital infrastructure that supports innovation while safeguarding privacy. Students, ladies and gentlemen, let me end by urging each of you to champion data protection within your respective spheres of influence. Let us collectively strive to create a secure digital environment that fosters trust and innovation. The importance of data protection, online privacy, and responsible digital behavior transcends the boundaries of technology, influencing every facet of our professional and personal life. By prioritizing these principles, we pave the way for a safer, more trustworthy digital future. I thank you all for your dedication and commitment to this crucial endeavor. And I thank you all once again for your kind attention. Thank you.